day six. I am sick to death of microwave ready meals. I just... I miss vegetables. I miss oven cooked food. I know I've had pizzas, but oof, I really miss it. I cannot wait until tomorrow's over. As soon as I finish that last meal, Sorry, I was just thinking about it. Well, it's slightly breakfast related. Cheesy beans and sausage. Just one sausage, apparently, even though there's clearly several on the box. Baked beans in tomato sauce and crispy diced potatoes with cooked mini pork sausages topped with cheddar cheese. And I really do wonder how crispy those diced potatoes are going to be. It's probably the beans that are going to end up being crispy. Delightful. Let's get into this thing. Oh, the bloody hell. Ugh. Oh, that's right. I'm doing it upside down. Well, it looks all right. How do we cook this thing? You know what? I might actually put it in the oven because it, this looks like it will benefit greatly from being in the oven. Plus I've got nine minutes in the microwave. Christ, there's all our stats. Here we are. Per oven pack, 721 calories. And it's not very big, that is quite a thing. With 3.1 grams of salt. Why does there need to be that much salt? <sighs> Can't wait for tomorrow's hangover on the last day. Whoop de do. So here are my beans and sausage. And of course potato. I don't really want to take this one out of the container because it will be as sloppy and messy as hell. Oh, there's a sausage. Found one already. Seems like a small cocktaily kind of sausage. I hope not because I hate wiener sausages. <laughs> wiener. Yeah, and that's exactly what it is. Absolutely can't stand hot dog sausages. If that was a real sausage, it would be nice. Uh, some potato. Mm. Definitely uh, benefited by going in the uh, oven. I don't think I'd have liked it at all if I'd have microwaved it. Beans. Fucking hot. Ah. Well, I'll eat the potatoes and the beans, but the sausages can go to hell because they are horrible. I hate that sort of sausage. And that's really disappointing. Get off. For the penultimate lunchtime, I really decided to step up the quality with a doner kebab ultimate snacks. So if you remember, I had the doner kebab pizza the other day. This is uh, the meat topping that I had on there. So uh, blah, blah, blah. I wonder what actually the percentage of meat is. 39%. It doesn't actually say what the uh, percentages of the meat. It would be interesting to know that. But anyway, what about salt? 2.3 grams, 455 calories. Just what we've come to expect from this sort of thing. Get out. So, there she is. Actually, it's quite full of meat, and that's surprising. Any sort of sauce? Yeah, there's a sauce not frozen, which is quite odd. Alright then. Lunch is served, I suppose. Well, it will be in a minute once I've nuked it to death. Well, it smells interesting. Yeah.
Bloody hell. Right, now we get this thing open. God. For all this now, the second and last day I have to pick up the bloody... Well, this is a doner kebab. So we've got the meat in there. Jesus Christ. To be honest, the uh, the wrap is quite nice. Soft all the way around. The meat is clearly very well cooked. So the guidelines work on the uh, microwave. The onions are hotter than Jesus resurrected in a furnace. I've got no idea what that means. Just take it as being hot. Oh, God. Let's give it a go. Steaming up the camera. Oh. Um, tastes similar to the uh, kebab meat from the pizza. Let's just have a piece of meat because all I could taste was sort of bread. Mm. Just sort of have a... Uh, A vague kebab taste to it. Not particularly unpleasant, but uh, not one of the, the nice things I've had either. Not sure where that crunch was. A little unsettling. Mm. Put me up a little bit. <sighs> but um, yeah, if uh, you wanted a kebab for a pound, as opposed to maybe four or five like you might get in a decent kebab shop then I suppose it might fill a hole but uh, as for me uh, I'm going to begrudgingly finish it I suppose you know with some of the Iceland meals it's almost like they put loads of different foods in a hat and then just pull them out and combine them to make a meal kind of like with that chicken tikka lasagna thing two separate meals just merged together into some sort of hideous blob. Also kind of like what's happening with this dinner. Chili con carne Yorkshire pudding for one pound. Cooked minced beef in chili sauce with a Yorkshire pudding. So even the one on the box looks a little bit questionable so I'm not sure what the one that we end up cooking is going to look like. <sighs> Where's the info? Per microwave pack, 469 calories, 1.8 grams of salt. Maybe today is going to be a better day for salt, but uh, we can only hope and dream. And I'll get into it. This one's impossible to get into. Ugh. Well, there's our giant Yorkshire pudding. Uh, Yorkshire pudding is obviously uh, traditionally eaten with a roast dinner on a Sunday, not with chili con carne in a pouch. Not much to say about it at this point, I guess, but uh, I don't have to do the Yorkshire pudding in the bloody microwave, do I? I can just put the filling in the microwave, but uh, okay. Well, good job I'll put the oven on because we can thankfully do the Yorkshire pudding in the oven. All right, let's get cooking. And there we are, there's our Yorkshire pudding. Sounds nice and crispy, although uh, I'm not sure how you can get a Yorkshire pudding wrong, really. Oh yes, I am sure you add chilli to it. I'm sure the chili's probably quite nice on its own, but why it needs to be in a Yorkshire pudding, I don't know. It's not like these two things are known to go together. Oh, come on. I'm not going to be able to do this one-handed. This is going to go... Oh, let's just try the bloody chili. As far as chilies go, it's a little dull. Wow. That's 
crispy. Tastes okay. Maybe a little saltier than normal. But then again, would I expect any different? Let's have another go with the chili. Chili's quite bland. I'm not sure what I consider you can get really, really nice chilies in tins. So why this one uh, feels the need to be quite bland is beyond me. Oh well. Hopefully tomorrow's is a bit nicer. The final day. I really should say that with less disdain and I should be throwing a party. How about I just have a little bit more Yorkshire pudding instead. Oh, I'm ruining my dinner. Oh, that is crispy. Oh, come on. I'm wrecking the entire thing. So that was it. The penultimate day. And probably one of the more disappointing days. Cheesy beans and sausage. Would have been ten times nicer were it not for the disgusting wiener sausages. I just cannot stand that kind of sausage, so it completely ruined it for me. Even though I did it in the oven and the potatoes and the beans and the cheese were nice. Dolly kebab. Can't really complain much. One pound for a kebab. It was edible. It was nice. I did enjoy it. Uh, but for a pound, what can you expect? Yeah, not bad. And chili con carne. What the hell? That was some sort of just demented tombola of cuisine and uh, yeah I will not be bothering with that again maybe if the chilli was a little bit nicer and wasn't so bland uh, but what did these three do to me? come on well I'm supposed to have 2,500 calories I had 1,645 which continuing our streak is the sixth day in a row where I'm under on that fat I'm supposed to have 95 I had 64.4 so yeah continuing the streak I'm under yet again, by quite a big margin. Salt. Yesterday I was under, which totally broke the trend. But today it's made up for it by having it at 7.2, where I'm supposed to have 6 grams. So there we are, another salt hangover for my final day in the morning. But, uh, yeah, not so good today, so uh, the only way is up, I suppose. You, you ruined it all, you. Boo. And if you want to see my final day of pain, please subscribe, click like, share the video, and all that stuff.